thank you, Richard. And we do indeed thank God for his blessing on your life and restoring you back to a measure of health and strength as well. Just like to uh, make mention of the partners in mission before we uh, move into our prayer time. Uh, the total to date is $2,782. So I think that's <laughs> to the Partners in Mission, and uh, any time you feel led throughout the year, and uh, you have a, a little extra, and you'd like to contribute to that, you can do so in your partners, just mark your Partners in Mission, and uh, that will go toward next year. So you can do that any time you wish. Thank you. We have chosen Psalm number 705, 705 for our prayer focus this afternoon. And uh, yeah, you can put the, the prayer slide back there while we're just getting ready. And as you can see, there are other names being added to the list. Let's just look into them. Bill Snellgrove, Russell Green, Eddie Turner, Richard Snellgrove, Morley Button, Marie Pottle, Janet Penny, Fanny Fagner, Pat Sparks, it was good to see her here last week, and good to see Don back with us again, and nice to have his daughter, Kim, is it Kim? Yes, nice to have Kim with us as well. And then Les Ford, he, um, he's not feeling well, he had surgery on Friday, and uh, so we remember him. He had a tumor removed uh, from his uh, brain on Friday. And um, we certainly keep less in our prayers. And then we have Bob Sellers as Henrietta's son back in hospital in Ontario. And uh, we certainly need to be praying hard for Bob Sellers. We think of Henrietta today. She's not with us, but we remember her must be difficult not being able to travel where he is. Uh, we also remember Bruce Oliver. He's having surgery this week. And so remember Bruce in your prayers. And those of the costume of the Bursley family. Certainly a great need for prayer there. Um, the Bursley family is mourning the loss of a wife and mother in recent days. And now requesting special prayer for his daughter. And uh, so many people who are hurting. So many people who need our prayers today. We also remember our young people. We thank God for them. And we just pray that He will continue to protect them and watch over them. Thank you, Stephanie, for coming out again today. It's always good to see you. And uh, I guess, Stephanie, you're not that old, so we're thankful for you too. And of course, we remember the most important prayer of all. It's not necessarily the physical healing, but the spiritual healing. That many people will be found seeking and finding God. And so we pray for the lost of our families and our communities. We are a blessed people. We are indeed blessed to be found in this place. And so we ask God today to have his own way in our lives and right here in our midst today. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will, while I am waiting, yielded, and still. So the first two verses teaches us really to seek within our own hearts and our own minds today. And uh, if there's anything that's unlike him, or anything there that needs to be fixed between you and God, or you and somebody else, then as the Holy Spirit convicts you of that, may it be done unto him. Have my own way. Let's sing it again.
they're mourning, they're hurting. And there's so many others, and even those who may be listening, you're hurting today. And you need a touch from the Master. I pray that you too would reach out and say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are in control. You are all I need. And so have your way in my life today. Power, all power, surely is thine. Touch me and heal me, Savior divine. And then the final verse, one of my favorites. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Hold o'er my being, absolute sway. Fill with thy spirit, till all shall see Christ only always living in me.
again, we thank you for your presence in our lives. We thank you for bringing us here this afternoon. We do not think that we came here by chance this afternoon, but we were led by your great hand. And for that, we give you thanks. And so, Father, we give you this time that we share together today. We pray that it will bring honor and glory to your name. We pray, Heavenly Father, that it will touch our hearts and bring us closer to you. We pray that those who may listen at a later date, Father, will find you as their Lord and their Savior. They will be encouraged and uplifted as well. And so, Father, help us most of all to honor and glorify you this day. For we ask it in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen.